Hi, I'm Candy Cooper, a designer for Plaid Enterprises, and today I'm going to show you how to make this glow-in-the-dark dream banner. You'll need some folk art paint colors. I spelled out the word dream, so I'm using these calming blues. Hologram Extreme Glitter and Glow-in-the-Dark Mod Podge. You'll also need your wooden shapes that you're going to Mod Podge to, and then whatever letters um, that you want to spell your word out with. It's really trendy right now to use dictionary pages to decoupage with, so I thought these would look really great being that they're black and white under the Glow-in-the-Dark uh, Mod Podge. So the first thing you're wanting to do is base coat the edge of your star because that will show when on your banner. And you can use Glow in the Dark Mod Podge just like regular Mod Podge. It's a glue and you're just going to coat your surface and then glue your dictionary page down to the star and really burnish that down. Once that's dry, you're going to trim your edge I've got one ready to go. You're going to trim your edge like so. And I have to flip mine back and forth because the scissors don't get in there so easily. And then repeat for the other side. And I've got one ready here. Now I've gone ahead and added another coat of Mod Podge Glow in the Dark. And the more coats of the Glow in the Dark that you add, the more it'll glow. So I would say at least two to three coats. Once you get your surfaces ready, you can start embellishing the edges with paint. And I'm using a number one liner brush. And since this is kind of a little bit rustic, I wanted to add sort of an edge that looked almost like a blanket stitch. So I'm just making simple little lines around the edge of my star. like so. Once you get all the way around the star, you can go back with a darker blue and hit the in-between spots. This is really easy and it adds just a nice finished border to your star. It looks really cute when it's all done. Let's add a little bit of blue too. And you don't have to add the blue in between each Spot. It just depends on what you want your piece to look like. I'm going to add it kind of every other, every other line. Okay, so set that aside to dry when you're finished. And while that's drying, you can actually go ahead and be base coating your wood letters. I've gone ahead and done an R here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle with the extreme glitter. And you can do this, put as many coats as you want. It's the same as the Glow in the Dark Mod Podge. The more coats, the more it'll sparkle. The cool thing about Extreme Glitter is all the glitter is in the actual base of the paint, so it doesn't make a glittery mess in your house or wherever you're crafting today. So, once that dries, you can actually use a little bit more of the Glow in the Dark Mod Podge to stick your R in place. Now, when your pieces are all dry, you'll want to just use a tiny Dremel tool to drill a hole in the top of the star and then attach it to a chain or like I've done here, I've braided some raffia and ribbon together and attached the stars along the um, braid with some wire. For more ideas like this one, check out platonline.com. <laughs>